Now we'll see the working of D to A card, uh, decent value of conversion, in which we are using 04 DA as I shown you in the video in the next in the previous video. I've shown you the card. So now let's see how we have connected this card. Now uh, similarly we have this four channels and a one, two, three, four. And this also has similar four terminals, V plus I plus common and FG. FG is basically the functional ground, I forgot to explain you. If suppose you're having some noise signal in your A to D or D to A cards, you just have to connect ground to your FG, which will somehow reduce the noise signals. So now V plus and common is going to give you output voltage, right? That is the difference. A to D, we have to receive the voltage to convert that into bits. Now here the bits will be converted into voltage. That's the vice versa. So we have connected the V plus to AVI terminal of a drive. AVI is analog voltage input, which can be some different, uh, can be designated by some different name in different drives, all right? In this delta VFD, we name it as AVI, and in most of the drive we have AVI. AVI is a signal, is a terminal. If we give uh, the voltage ranging from zero to 10 volt in this terminal, it will change the frequency from zero to 50 hertz. So if we give you zero volt, it will convert that zero volt into zero hertz in the drive. If we give you five volt, it will take you 25 hertz or the middle or the half of your maximum frequency. If you give 10 volts, it will convert that into 50 hertz. That's what's the function of AVI. Common is a common which we have to connect together. So in my practical circuit, in my drive, this 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 is the how I have done the wiring. Channel one is connected to my AVI and common to the first drive. We are not using two drives, we are just using one drive. Now here the resolution is 12 bit. It's a bit lower resolution than A to D part, which means we have 4,000 bits conversions. Like if I give one bit, it will convert it into 0 0.0025 volts or 2.5 milli volts. That is the minimum voltage which my plant can give, that can output. So if I give 4,000 bits, it will give you 10 volts, which is given to my drive. Or, if, or you can use the 0 to 10 volt onto some other device, like you can have uh, uh, servo walls, which operate at 0 to 10 volt. Uh, you can give it to some drives, you can see here, or any analog device you have, you can provide the 0 to 10 volt accordingly, or you can give it to servo motor as well, if you are driving that into a velocity mode for the same operation. All right, so let's see the programming. This is the wiring, simple two wire program. Now let's go to the programming. Now, this is the last program I have made. Now, let's make a program for D to A card. For that, I, I think I should write a comment here. Digital two analog. Okay. So, similarly, I'll go to my auxiliary setup. Now, here I have to select one because this card is not immediate next to my PLC, it is next to my A to D. So, here I have to select slot number one. So now I am going to select here 0 for DA, that is my designated card, going to setup. Now again the same situation, output mode settings, right resistor. I want output in terms of voltage, so I am taking voltage output, 0 to 10 volts. Similarly, you can take current output. As my device is voltage operated, you can, because I am connecting this to AVI, so I am using voltage output. If, if I would have been connecting that to ACI, which is analog current inputs, which is also available in the drive, I should have selected 0, 4 to 4 amps, 20 mA amps, or 0 to 20 mA as per my recommendation. So right now, I need 4, 0 to 10 volts. So that, that mode is favorable to me. Going to add to this, this is the code as per my visit. Now, simple channel 1 output voltage. Here, I have to write the value. Again, condition, I want values to be written every time. So now, set value. You can see here, conversion automatically. Range is 0 to 4,000. If I enter 0, it will give you 0 millivolts and 0 microamperes. If I enter here 1,000, 2.5 millivolts or, or 5,000 microamperes, or you can say that 5 milliamperes, right? So if I write 4,000, 10 volts, 20 milliamperes. So let's initially write 2,000. Okay, add to list. Okay, so saying, okay again. So this is my code. This is my first logic is load checking. Second is voltage output. Channel one. Voltage output. Okay. And uh, just for the reference, here I'm writing the range 0 to 4000 according to 0 to 10 volts. Similarly, I should write here because for A to D, the conversion is different. Uh, analog 2 to 2. Range is 0 to 8000 equal to 0 to 10 dBc. 
I think I have to write uh, the first one first. And also here the input is voltage, output is bits. In the second case, the input is bits, output is voltage. That is the only difference. So let's write this one. So now value is 2000 and you can see in the camera the value is 25.2 hertz automatically. So how so the moment I change the value here, the density will be changed. Okay, so let's instead of 2000, let me take a database step. So I can show you in real time how the value has been changed. So let's take uh, 35, 35 or any value database step. Let me just download it again. Now 35 is initially 0, so my frequency is 0. So if I change this value to K1000, you can see the output 12.5 hertz or nearby. 2000, which could be 35.2. 3000, which would be 37.5 or nearby. 4000, it's 50 hertz. So that's how proportionally you can change the value as per the needs, as per the logic. All right? So this was about analog output. By changing the value from 0 to 4000, you can have variable output. And again, you can make some situation here. Like, if you want that, if you are, uh, now let's synchronize this one. Let's synchronize analog input with analog output. Now I want to change the frequency of motor using my potentiometer, this potentiometer, all right? And But this potentiometer is ranging from 0 to 8000 here. As you can see here, if I rotate this one, it is ranging from 0 to 8000. Okay, the scaling is 0 to 8000. Now I want to scale this 0 to 8000 to 0 to 4000 to the output. So what I can do is, let's do this one. Reading feedback, reading read feedback. Here I can make a logic. Now my value is coming into D0. So I can write, I have to divide the range of 0 to 8000 to 0 to 4000. Simply I have to divide it by 2. So I write DRV divide D0 by K2 results in D35. So now proportional value will be D35. So now you can see that. Let me just run the motor. This is my potentiometer. I am rotating the potentiometer and my PLC is reading the value of from this potentiometer. It is converting the value into bits. The PLC is following the logic by which I have done the scaling and giving the output to the output card. So now this has become an input to my drive, like this. Maximum, and I can use it. So instead of connecting directly, I can connect using cards. And I can do scaling in whatever way I want. It is very easy to do scaling using a PLC by this. So I can also do that. That if the value is between 3 to 4 volts, I should not run. Between 5 to 10, it should not run. That depends on my logic, how I can use it. So that was about, you know, linking analog inputs with analog outputs. It's all about data registers. Once you have the value in your data register, then you can link using any logics. Division, multiplication, addition, or some alarm signals. That is a very acceptable value to use. So that was about E to D and D to A. If you have any queries, just post below this video. I can tell you the logic. Or if you are working on A to D and E to A, if you have any queries, just let me know. I can uh, possibly give you some solution. Thank you.